During archaeological research, scientists occasionally encounter man-made objects that pose a perplexing challenge in that these objects are discovered within a geological strata dating back hundreds of millions of years to a time long before the existence of humans as a biological species. Such findings are referred to as out-of-place artifacts. This term is commonly used to describe objects that are supposedly made by humans but shouldn't exist based on scientific evidence, since either the technology necessary for their creation was not available during that period, or more significantly, the existence of Homo sapiens as a species had not yet occurred. This video showcases the top most unusual discoveries, and each of them is astonishing in its own way. Let's get started. Mystery of the Benin Bronzes an unusual discovery was made by archaeologists in Nigeria. They unearthed evidence that African craftsmen made the renowned Benin bronzes using German ore. The Benin bronzes constitute a vast collection of 3,000 brass figurines discovered in Nigeria in 1897. They unearthed evidence that African craftsmen made the renowned Benin bronzes using German ore. The Benin bronzes constitute a vast collection of 3,000 brass figurines discovered in Nigeria. In 1897, British soldiers transported these artifacts to Great Britain. For a long time, scientists believed that the figurines were created by melting rings used as a currency in the slave trade. However, recent research has revealed that most of the figurines were made from ore sourced in Germany. This revelation has helped scholars better understand the historical context surrounding the slave trade and has shed light on the influence the Europeans had on African art. Currently, the most extensive collection of the Benin bronzes is housed in the British Museum in London, but Nigeria has been actively seeking the return of these artistic treasures to their rightful homeland. Sacrifices in Germany Fertility rituals were performed in Germany 4,800 years ago, and today we know what was offered as sacrifices. In Halberstadt, archaeologists discovered a well containing the skeletons of various animals, bulls, dogs, and hares. These sacrificial practices took place in ancient times when people lived in harmony with nature and had deep reverence for it. They wanted their land to be fertile. They loved everything that surrounded them, and most importantly, they believed that by sacrificing animals, they would earn the gods' support and ensure a bountiful harvest. The well belonged to an ancient culture that originated in the lands of modern-day Poland and later migrated to Germany. Mystery of the Etruscan Tomb A fascinating discovery unfolded in the central part of Italy, in the city of Volci. Archaeologists stumbled upon a unique Etruscan tomb dating back to the 6th century BC, which had remained undisturbed for a long time. Many ceramic vessels and dishes were found in the tomb. Two heavy stone slabs that served as the tomb's cover were found during the excavations. Behind the slabs, a chamber carved into a rock was revealed. It housed a collection of 30 exceptionally preserved ceramic vessels. There was also a bronze brazier containing coals and skewers bearing remnants of meat. Based on the absence of weapons and the presence of a spindle, it's been speculated that the tomb belonged to a woman. The woman's remains were cremated and placed in a special pot, traditionally used by the Etruscans for storing ashes. The city of Volci was once a thriving center of commerce and craftsmanship up until it was destroyed by Rome in 280 BC. The city gradually fell into decay and was eventually abandoned. Many tombs were looted by marauders in search of valuable artifacts, which makes finding an intact tomb an exceedingly rare occurrence. The Secret of the Ari Beloi The ancient Greeks understood the importance of taking care of their health and actively participating in sports. To assist them in their endeavors, they used the Ari Beloi, small, 
ball-shaped vessels with narrow necks. The Ari Beloy were designed to fit inside leather pouches that were attached to the wrist for easy transportation. Athletes used Ari Beloy to carry aroma oils, which they used to rub on their bodies before training and competitions. Then, they used a special scraper to clean the oils off the skin along with the dirt. These oils were also used for bathing. The Ari Beloy were handy and compact. They were made from clay and other materials such as fanes, bronze, and glass. Women also had their own vessels known as alabastra, which were specifically designed to store aroma oils. Unlike men, women preferred more intricate shapes, such as animals or sculpted heads, that could stand upright. The Mystery of the Roman Coins on a Pirate Island Archaeologists have found two silver coins from the time of the Roman Empire on a mysterious, uninhabited island in the Baltic Sea. The discovery has left the scientists perplexed, raising the question, how did the coins end up on the island between Sweden and Estonia? Nobody knows exactly how the coins got there. They might have been brought to the island by Scandinavian traders, or they could be the remnants of a Roman shipwreck that drifted northward. The discovered coins are Roman denarii. One of them dates back to the reign of Emperor Trajan, while the other one was minted during the time of Antoninus Pius. They were the standard currency in ancient Rome, and their name has persisted in various Latin languages. Their value is partially derived from the silver they were crafted from, the coins may have been brought over by Norwegian traders, shipwreck survivors, or Romans traveling on a ship, although no such records have been found. Monastery in Sudan Decorated with Christian frescoes, Polish archaeologists have discovered a mysterious complex of rooms adorned with Christian frescoes in a medieval monastery in Angola, Africa. This city used to serve as the capital of Makuria, one of the renowned African states that embraced Christianity in the 6th century. Initially studying houses dating from the 16th to 19th centuries, the scientists stumbled upon a church adorned with exquisite frescoes and inscriptions in Greek and ancient Nubian. Under one of the houses, they discovered a secret passage leading to a room with amazing frescoes on the walls. They depicted the Virgin Mary, Christ, Archangel Michael, and the Nubian ruler. The peculiarity of this fresco is that the Nubian ruler is shown bowing and kissing the hand of Christ, while the archangel Michael spread his wings protectively over them. Temple at the bottom of the sea in Italy. Archaeologists have discovered the ruins of an ancient Nabataean temple at the bottom of the sea off the coast of Puzzuli on the Flecri Peninsula. The Nabataean kingdom was an ally of Rome, the Nabataeans had control over vast territories and important trade routes. They may have been the ones who built a sanctuary that was found by underwater archaeologists. The temple was dedicated to the main deity, Dushara. The archaeologists have found two marble altars dating back to the early 1st century AD. This discovery has become instrumental in unraveling the mysteries surrounding the site. Scientists already knew that foreign traders traveled to the area and that they resided in a place known as Vicus Lartidanus, but the exact location of this settlement remained unknown until this temple was discovered. Underwater research has also found ancient roads and remains of administrative buildings. Scientists believe that part of the city went underwater. Mayan Soccer Scoreboard in Chichen Itza, located on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, archaeologists have unearthed a stone disc depicting two people playing pelota, an ancient game popular in the region. This disc weighed over 40 kilograms and was used as a scoreboard to record the match outcomes. The Mesoamerican ball game, known as pelota, held great significance among the various peoples of Mesoamerica. Prior to the arrival of Columbus, these games were often conducted as ritualistic events, occasionally involving sacrifices, but more commonly played for entertainment. Many archaeologists believe that pelota is the precursor to modern-day soccer. Researchers have estimated the disc to be approximately 1,200 years old. 
There seemed to be nothing unusual about the mining town of Falun in Sweden until the miners stumbled upon an extraordinary discovery, a lifeless human body. The young man looked as if he had just died and appeared to be a peculiar amalgamation of flesh and metal, as if every inch of his being had undergone a transformative treatment, cloaking him in a delicate layer of metallic substance. Even the most adept artisans would find it challenging to replicate, since not even a single strand of the man's hair remained untouched by the metallic casing. The management of the mine were uncertain of what to do with the unusual find, so they decided to exhibit it in a local museum. The visitors perceived the man as a real miracle, believing that he was a real-life Terminator during his time on Earth. One day, an elderly lady was brought to the museum and stood before the exhibit for a while. She then clutched her chest, having recognized the man as Mats Israelson, whom she had last seen 40 years ago. Mats was on his way to meet his fiancée, but he never showed up. Extensive searches were conducted, but eventually his parents had to accept the grim possibility of his demise, as did the man's friends. It appeared that Mats had encountered some criminals on his way, who must have killed him and thrown his body into the mine. At that point, the man would have gotten a dignified burial, but the local authorities realized they could make a lot of money off him. There were a multitude of people who wanted to visit the museum. Tourists were even coming from the neighboring countries. Regrettably, the desire for profit outweighed the sense of decency. However, the layer of metal encasing began to deteriorate and evaporate under the influence of air, while the body started to decompose. In 1749, the body was finally buried, but ten years later, it was exhumed and returned to its former location. It was only in the 30s that the man was finally laid to rest permanently, while a wax replica was made for the museum. However, it turns out that this man wasn't the only case of this kind. The fusion of organic and metal materials is known in science as pseudomorphism. Pseudomorphism occurs when a mineral undergoes alteration in a manner that changes its internal structure and chemical composition while preserving its external form. Achieving this effect in a laboratory setting is challenging and also highly expensive. 1600-year-old women's sandals Archaeologists in Turkey have made an astounding discovery. They unearthed a pair of women's sandals and a wooden comb dating back approximately 1600 years. The sole of one of the sandals had a Greek inscription that read, Use in health, lady, wear in beauty and happiness. These artifacts were found within the ancient port of Theodosius, founded on the coast of the Sea of Mamara at the end of the 4th century AD. This port was regarded as one of the most important harbors of Constantinople during the Byzantine era. Presently located in one of Istanbul's districts, Theodosius continues to be a site of ongoing archaeological excavations. Scientists believe that the sandals and the comb remained in good condition due to the lack of oxygen in the soil, as the ancient port had been buried under a thick layer of sand. Such unique finds enrich our understanding of ancient civilizations and their way of life. The oldest trackway in England There's an extraordinary Neolithic wooden trackway in England that dates back almost 6,000 years. The Sweet Track is an ancient trackway in the Somerset Levels named after the man who discovered it in 1970. Initially constructed as a shortcut through the swamp, the street track was actively utilized a decade before eventually being abandoned, possibly due to rising water levels. Items unearthed along the track include stone axes, arrows, remains of saucers, parts of a bow, bone hooks, and a fragment of a spoon. The trackway was about 1.8 kilometers long and connected two Neolithic settlements on opposite sides of the swamp. Today, the Sweet Track is considered the oldest known trackway in England. Remarkably, the construction techniques employed in building such wooden trackways haven't really changed over the course of a millennia. The Most Ancient Bat Scientists have made a groundbreaking discovery in the U.S. state of Wyoming. They unearthed two exceptionally well-preserved, fossilized bat skeletons 
estimated to be around 52 million years old. Such specimens have never been found before and represent an entirely unknown species of bats. These small creatures measured slightly smaller than their modern counterparts and could easily fit in the human hand. Scientists conducted an extensive comparative study of the fossils with other known species and concluded that they belonged to a new species, which got the name Acheronicterus gonelli.